Hello everyone, it's Erica here and thank you so much for clicking onto this video. Today we're going to be touring this beautiful, natural, spring inspired, simple island and this island is called Mugi Bata Island and all of the creators information will be listed down below this video but yes, I'm really excited for this and it looks really, really beautiful. And the creator did state that the residence houses have been remodeled and the renovations have been completed. So again, very, very excited about that. And I will be looking through all of the villagers homes as well because the creator mentioned it. And I feel like when the creator mentions that the villagers homes are remodeled, it's definitely worth to check out. So really excited about this island tour. Let's go ahead and get started. And first, let's look at the map really quickly. All right, so here is the island Mugibata. On Twitter, it does say Mugibata, but as you can see on the screen, the island is called Poru, could be a name. Um, most likely it is a name because it's in Katakana. Um, so Poru, Paul, maybe, I don't know, but that is the name of the island. Okay, perfect. So one of the, uh, residents here is called Poru or Poru and Toto and Warabi. And so that's pretty cool. The creator's name on Twitter is, uh, Poke Mori Toto. So I don't know who <laughs> the actual like, I don't know. I don't think there's a main person really. I think all three of these people contributed uh, to this island. So regardless, those are the residents. And then we have the villagers. We have Adi, Kid Cat, Wolfgang, Marshall, my fave, Dom, Stella, Big Top, Willow, Grudy, and Raymond. Okay, so pretty cool villagers. Um, I haven't seen Kid Cat on an island in a really, really long time. So that's really cool to see. Um, and yeah, down below is the dream address. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. And we will go ahead and take a look at all of the residence homes as well. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Super excited about this. And already, actually, we are at the airport. So the airport and resident services is quite close. So that's actually really convenient if you're visiting, if you want to trade. Ooh, all right. We're going to go to the left. As we see, there's a sign over here that says left. So we're going to go left. And oh my gosh, this is so stunning. Ooh, okay. The beaches are decorated. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Very organized. Oh, here is a resident and it looks like we have Audie and Raymond joining us on the shore but this is so cute guys really really adorable I do love how the custom design codes on the floor here represent kind of like that wooden dark that wooden dark pattern I don't know really really beautiful wow okay and then already we are greeted with a villagers home so let's go ahead and take a look Oh, okay. Stella's not home. That's cool. That's fine. But this is so stunning, guys. Look at the custom designs here. Beautiful. Wow. And the creators placed so many flowers all around. Oh my gosh. This is just stunning. This is actually like, I want to say the perfect spring island i love it we have the green mums white mums hyacinths lily of the valley flowers as well whoa stunning oh my gosh this is so beautiful and easter is coming right up as well as i'm recording this this is just beautiful stunning guys wow and again very very affordable to do you know, flowers don't cost much. It does take time, but again, you do have time traveling at your side, so you can always time travel. But yeah, with patience, it's really not expensive to decorate with flowers. So this is stunning. And a simple bush here and there. And then we have this beautiful table. Again, very affordable and beautiful. Stunning. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. This is Adi's house. 
and Willow's house. Wow. Oh my gosh. Love what they did with the pier. Really, really beautiful. I don't think I've seen terraforming done on a pier yet. So this is actually really nice. Nice change of pace. All right, I think someone's home here. Oh my gosh, Dom. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. Oh my gosh, we have the cafe wallpaper here. Beautiful. Highly recommend you guys get this if you can. The cafe wallpaper is unbeatable. So versatile. Um, but whoa, this is so stunning. We have a brick floor. And then we have brick accents on the walls too. So we have the columns here. Oh my gosh. And then we have a brick uh, countertop. Beautiful. Wow. And then we have the two beds here. It gives me outdoor indoor. I don't know. It's beautiful. It's like a restaurant, but it's also Dom's house. <laughs> it's homey. Oh my gosh. The use of plants is really, really nice as well. Cactus. Just all kinds of plants actually everywhere. I love the stove. Wow. And they chose the mossy color for this stove as well, which I think matches so well with the plants. Again, that nice pop of green with the red brick. Oh my gosh. And then we have this tea, uh, this tea kettle right here, which is the mom's furniture piece. And again, it's like that knitted tea kettle. Oh my gosh. This is just cozy, cozy, cozy. Wow. Very talented. This creator is very talented. So excited to see the rest of the villagers' homes, too. All right, so that was a great, great uh, start to the villagers' homes. I'm, again, very excited. Wow. Okay, Abel Sister Shop. Nice. And then Nook's Cranny. So both of them are right behind Resident Services, which is really cool. We have a mailbox here. ATM. Super, super convenient. And again, I really recommend putting out an ATM when you are building up your island because it's convenient. You don't have to go inside resident services, which is really nice. And then right over here, we have two of the creator's homes. So we'll go ahead and take a look. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so this home is very similar to dom's which is really fun and interesting to see wow stunning tons of bookcases everywhere surrounding the walls and we actually have a castle we actually have castle pieces too in this room which is very creative this gives me gryffindor common room anybody does that bring that vibe to you guys i don't know this is giving me gryffindor common room i don't know wow and a beautiful area as well that ties into the living room wow i have never seen a house done like this before with all the red brick beautiful so this is basically a library i want to say a study room we have a tiny library right here just beautiful Alright, and then over here, we have a beautiful, beautiful room. And it looks like a bedroom for sure, because we do see the two beds. But I love how we can see the window out here. Again, that this is custom designed as well with the panels. But we also have an added ledge that they put here. Beautiful, beautiful room that ties in so well to the rest of the home. All right, and then we are going to go upstairs. Oh, be oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. So very similar to the room we were just in. You can see the cherry blossoms right over here with the same kind of custom design wooden uh, window panels. But this is a pastry shop, a little cafe. 
Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Very well done. A lot of noise happening right now. You can hear the music. You can also hear the AC, I want to say. Or the wind. Oh, here it is. I'm like, I kind of hear the wind. Um, I want to say it's the stove, actually. So here's the stove. Oh, and then the this beautiful, like, coffee machine right here. Wow, yeah, no, strong, strong um, wind noise right now. But it's really, really beautiful. I love it. Again, we have that classic feeling, too, with the whole entire room going on. Beautiful rug. And the dark wood elements all around, too. So it's so, so beautiful and stunning. Oh, wow. Wow. Wait, this is really, really cool. Oh, okay. So we have, like... I don't guys let me know what you guys would call this room it's hard I don't know uh witchcraft I don't uh, I'm getting witchcraft because of this um pumpkin but it's just I don't know it's giving me herbal like a uh, medicinal medicinal room I don't know <laughs> really really cool though I do like how they placed um, this pattern on top of these square white lights over here um, you can put custom designs on there and it's really really beautiful the way they did it so yeah really pretty I love it so much and it's stunning never seen a room like this before and I like the vibe all right so that was home number one for the creator and let's go to home number two All right, so we are at home number two and similar vibe to the first one, but a little different. Same flooring actually, but this one gives me more cottage vibes. We do have the wooden paneled walls, which is stunning. And then we have an accent wall over here too. Really, really cute music that fits the theme of the room. Wow, okay, very cute. Very cute, okay, okay, very cool. Um, a lot of like teddy bear theming with this room. Cute, 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 cute. I don't know what you would call this. I call it a teddy bear room. I don't know, it's cute, very beautiful. All right, so we are in the bedroom of the home. And there are four beds, really interesting to see. But yeah, no, beautiful, beautiful. Again, we have the accent wall, the orange accent wall, and then we have the paneled wall all around. And again, beautiful, same flooring from the living room. And yeah, stunning, very simple cottage core. Again, matches the vibe of the island as well. Wow, okay, we are at the second bedroom. And this is so cute and cozy. Again, same thing. We have the accent wall over here, actually, with the window. And then we have the rest of the wallpaper all around the room. Beautiful quilted beds, which I love. And then we have the matching armchairs, which are so, so cute. And a little tea set up. So, yeah, really beautiful very very cute all right we are upstairs and this is beautiful i love love the blackboard right here as you can see and then we have all of these desks put around wow if any of you guys have happy home paradise this will be a really really great idea uh, if you are in the middle of building your school in Happy Home Paradise. This is a beautiful design. And 
and downstairs we have a cafe which i love and it looks like the doormat right here also says cafe which i love actually first time seeing something like this but yeah this is beautiful beautiful again sometimes people don't know what to do with their downstairs or basement area and again doing a cafe or a wine cellar or a restaurant is really really pretty so they did an incredible job all right so that was the creator's home here's raymond oh my gosh and then this beautiful beautiful wheat field wow wow this goes all the way up here oh my gosh this is so relaxing and calming wow beautifully done oh my gosh kid cat's house okay oh my gosh this is stunning guys and they have a river all along their island over here to the right, which is really cool to see. Beautiful. And then again, we have the same theming going on. We have red, uh, sorry, we have white and green flowers. Beautiful. All right, so it looks like their home is really, really kind of green it's really pretty it's really really cool and i do like the natural aspect of this home all right so that was big top's house and what we're gonna do right now is go around these homes over here and then go up go up the stream Oh my gosh, and to the left we have another wheat field. Wow, and currently not a cloud in the sky. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's stunning though. And I do love how they lined up the river with wheat fields as well. Again, it gives that feeling that you are in the countryside or you are just in a natural area and i love it there's kid cat wow this is just stunning oh my gosh beautiful 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 so so beautiful all right so let's go over the bridge here oh my gosh this is stunning uh, beautiful and simple simple shore going on over here we have the silos in the back we have the boats and we have windmills again simply designed and effective beautiful all right and it looks like we are at the third creator's home so let's go ahead and take a look wow okay very similar vibe to the first living room that we saw at the first creator's home with the bread brick all around it looks like this may be all of their favorite kind of design element is the red brick and i like it, it again it gives that cozy vibe oh wow <laughs> oh my gosh wait wow this is crazy oh they placed all of kk slider's songs on the walls oh my gosh wow this is dedication that's so cool and it looks like the room over here is a sitting area or a lounge. It just looks so beautiful and cozy and ties in really well to the living room. Very cool. Okay, we have a jewelry shop or a watch shop. 
Um, I see all the watches over here. Very fancy feeling actually with all the dark wood. This is beautiful. Oh, so cute. All right, so here is the upstairs. So many arcade games, I love it. And here is the downstairs. And this is so adorable, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna guess this is a teddy bear shop. Um, we do have the countertops here. We also have a cash register. And then we have these cute hats and little teddy bears everywhere. This is so cute, I love it. Definitely, I get the vibe that the creators really like teddy bears and brick, red brick, and I love it. All right, so that was the last crater's home, and we are going to continue exploring the rest of the island. So, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, wait, Marshall's home. Let's go ahead and take a look. Ah, Marshall, oh my gosh. Wait, this is so suiting for him. Wait, this is so fitting. <laughs> He's so cute. I love this. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, by far. What do you guys think? Is this the best room so far? Best house? In terms of the villagers' homes? Let me know what you think. Uh, I think Marshall's is the best so far. I don't know. Again, the red brick motif represented in Marshall's home. All right. Let's go ahead and continue. Adorable. Very, very pretty. All right, and then it looks like over here we have the museum. Wow, I love how you can walk along this area. Wow, right underneath the museum, which is stunning. Oh my gosh. And again, not a cloud in the sky on this island today, which is beautiful. They picked a perfect time of day to represent this island. Oh my gosh, and then the museum. Love the castle walls in the back as well. It just adds that really regal vibe, really fancy atmosphere. And again, it's just simple. All you need to do is place the castle walls in the back and it's done it's set and again you can buy this as well um, it is not a crafting piece which is good and then all along here we do have a lot of trees oh a lot of trees planted and we actually have a lot of flowers in the back here too I think they might have all colors all colors and all types all breeds of flowers represented here really 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 cool flex, <laughs> but that's so stunning. Okay, wow. Let's go back down the stairs here and explore a little bit more. Wow, and this is a beautiful view. Beautiful view of the museum, the waterfalls, beautiful pictures that you can take here. Stunning. And walking across the bridge, we have another villager's home. And then we have the shore. Um, let's take a look at this home real quick. All right, so this is Wolfgang's home. I don't know. Yeah, this is beautiful. Again, I love all the coffee products in the back. Some bread. Cute. Oh my gosh. And then... The wallpaper right here is beautiful too. With the TV. Oh my gosh, guys. Absolutely stunning. Really, really well done. And I can't think of a better room for Wolfgang. This is really well done. Beautiful. All right, and let's go down along the river again. And it looks like we do have a bunch of pear trees too, as well, on the island. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is stunning. Great inspiration for a garden. Oh my gosh. Oh my... Wow. Every type of vegetable here. Which I love. And then we have the wheat over here too. And it's stunning. It's so simple. But I think with the wheat fields in the back, it really brings that separation with the walkway and the garden. Which I love. And then the string lights just add that beautiful vibe to it. And I bet it looks so beautiful at night and cozy as well. But wow, very, very well done. And then I think on the shore... Oh, very cool. Okay, so we have the campsite. And then we have this pier with some custom designs there. And yeah, this is really cute. Very simply done. Giving that rustic country nature vibe to the shore. And then we have this outdoor dining area, eating area with, you know, the bread in the back, the food in the back. This is beautiful. And I think this is a perfect theme to the island perfect perfect spring theme for sure wow so stunning okay so let's quickly by the way i love this sign custom sign i love it but let's go up here real quick again this is all on a second level terraformed area and you just have this beautiful view of the rest of the island and they did an incredible job and we have more of the wheat field over here. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's just so beautiful from every angle that you look at. Wow. Again, they just did an incredible job and I'm so, so impressed. All right, everyone, that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed touring this island with you guys. And again, all of the creator's information will be listed down below this video. If you like island tours like these, definitely be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to let you know whenever I upload. And I will see you guys again in my next video.